Hi guys, it's Alex from Oakwood Homes. I hope everyone is all well and safe. Today, I'm here to show you this good sized two bedroom top floor flat located in Turner Court on Clarendon Road in Margate. Currently on the lettings market at £750 per calendar month along with a five week deposit. If you have got any questions today while I am taking you around, please do feel free just to pop in the question box below or on the screen even and I will try my very best to answer all questions now before I go on and start today's live stream if someone could just pop a yes into the question box just to make sure that they can see and hear me all okay and then we will proceed to start today's live stream perfect good few of you so just tell you a little bit about Turner Court and surroundings before we go inside so it is obviously on Clarendon Road you are just a short walk away from North Down Road, so close to all local shops and everything. Slight sea views from when you stood out here overlooking Margate. Now being on the top floor, you have got stairs and there is also a lift which you can just see, which is directly there, bringing you up to the top floor. And the stairs bring you out straight here. Walk to the end and then your flat is in through that communal door there. One thing I will just say is there is parking off street now. I believe it's just any spaces for anyone. Uh, they're never normally full, so if you do drive, you always seem to get a space anyway. So we'll take a look inside. Any questions, guys, do feel free to pop them in the question box. So coming in here, you've got this small sort of communal entrance, which has got access for the two flats. And today we're showing you this flat here to the left. So the property is available from around the end of this month. The tenants have only just recently moved out and we are still yet to um, complete the final checkout report. So just in terms of any works or anything, I um, what I'll do is let you know if anything is going to be done in due course someone has just asked a question are pets allowed so if you have got a pet just mention it in your application just when we put them forward to the landlord we can tell them that you have got a pet so walking in here you'll notice you've got sort of the dark black dark gray carpets which is all the way throughout and bedrooms and living room you have got a intercom phone just here and all your fuses above next to the door so what we'll do today is we'll start left, work away all around right, go back round again and end up outside. So the first room I'm going to show you is bedroom one of two. Now this is a good size bedroom once again, the, the dark carpets and sort of a featured wallpaper as you can really see. That's sort of the style of it around, but it's a double bedroom, most definitely, and space for furniture. Just looking out your window here. Just give it an open, so they're the old, I believe, German windows, they are open this way. Or back down from the top. Just an entrance out onto the front, so windows open like that. And then I believe They open the other way as well. These windows do confuse me a little bit, but a good size room for bedroom number one, most definitely. We'll come back down here in this room in the end as well. If you have obviously got any questions, do let me know. Just next to the first bedroom here, you have got bedroom number two. Once again, a really good size, just like the first bedroom. Now, one thing I just have to double check is whether this furniture will be staying or not. Um, if you don't want it, then do mention it in your application. If you do want it, then mention it as well. Um, but I'm just not sure 100% whether it is staying. But once again, a same sort of similar size as the first bedroom. Got a wallpaper all around. And then the windows looking out to the front once again. 
Someone has asked a question, can you put bikes anywhere outside? We can definitely have a look at the end. I'm not sure if there's bike racks about. Um, however, potentially bringing it up and tying it to the rails, possibly. The next room here is your bathroom, which has got a modern feel. Around it, you've got the white featured tiles all the way around and a really lovely sized corner shower with this lino flooring. So your toilet there, you sink with a cabinet, small mirrored cabinet on the wall and I believe an electric shower. So good sized. Bathroom, no bath, but just a shower in here. And then walking through the hallway. To your left here, we've got a small storage cupboard. I say small, it's, it's actually quite a good long size. It's perfect for storing anything. And you've got your cylinder there at the back as well with your water tank. And then finally coming through to the kitchen. It's a really lovely kitchen because it brings in quite a lot of natural light. So it hasn't even got the lights on. We'll turn them on though, and you can't really even see a difference because it's that bright. But a lovely brown surface with cupboard space all around under counter. No cupboards above counter, but it really makes the kitchen feel nice and open. And like I say, you have got plenty of cupboard space. Under the sink here, you've got a fridge freezer, which I believe is staying. Space in the counter for washing machine. And your oven and hob just here and then the small tiled area just above counter now your window here you've got a really lovely view if we just open the window I believe that's overlooking dame park over there correct me if i'm wrong i think it is dame park but a really lovely view looking out onto margate from your kitchen now one thing which we'll show you in the next room, this flat does benefit of, it has a balcony as well, so you have got outside space, which you access via the living room, which is just here. So a really lovely sized living area. Just here, nice and long. So perfect to store any furniture. Once again, with the bedroom furniture, I have to check whether these uh, are staying or not, but a really lovely size. A nice easy square shape so easy to place your furniture you've got electric points and tv point down here and i believe a phone line over at this back wall here yeah, but a really lovely size and then especially on a day like today this is when it's lovely to have a nice balcony so a really good size Looking out onto Clarendon Road. And have you overlooking Dane Park there, you can see in the background. Someone has just asked a question. Are there any radiators in the flat? That's a good question. I actually think we've noticed any. I tell you what, it's absolutely roasting in this flat today, but that's probably just because of the the weather, um, no, I'm just looking all around, it doesn't look like that there is any, however, you've got on the wall these, the thermostat, which is slightly confusing, I have to double check on that, because there's thermostats on the wall, but no, radiators and it seems so hot in here um but if you guys obviously would like to apply for the property the number to call is 01843 22 700 i'll just see on my sheet here if we've got the epc rating for you as well I'm not sure if it's gonna be on here i haven't got the epc rating however i can tell you it's in council tax band a which is the cheapest band of them all but a really lovely property and it feels boiling in here so 
It really must keep the heat. I'm not sure whether there's any other ways, because there's another thermostat just here. So a really lovely size flat. If you've just asked a question at the office, and one of my colleagues will be able to answer that for you. But we'll just quickly show you the outside once more before we end today's live stream. So if you'd like to apply, be sure to give us a call on 01843 222 700. The video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. So if you do want to give it a watch, be sure to head over there this evening. But thank you all for joining me for today's live stream. Just before I do go in regards to bikes, um, obviously it potentially could bring it up here. Um, now I'm not sure if there's any bike racks already in the car park can't see from up here um, however obviously you could always bring it up and potentially lock it here but if you'd like to apply the number to call is 01843 222 700 thank you